everybody how's everybody doing today it is grandma so you guys already know it's kitchen talk time so let's just hop into it and see what we had going on over the weekend so um happy belated father's day to all the fathers this past weekend was father's day and i know it was a lot of people out and celebrating i had went out um on early in the week last week and you know looking at the, the uh, father's day card to get dad a card and to get my brother a card and um and i just you know sent a nice text to my son for father's day and my son-in-law but um it was a lot of people i was really kind of shocked to see how many people still buy cards you know i like to physically buy the, buy me a card I know you can on now everything is is online. You can e card them and send them a card, you know, through uh, um, the internet and all that, which you know will save time and stuff like that. But I like to physically go and look at the cards and read the cards and all that. And it was quite a few people, you know, in there buying um, Father's Day cards. So I was kind of shocked because I thought I could just have the whole hour. <laughs> To myself and just going in and take my time and look at the cards and you know read them i usually try to get the um the um i can't even think of it now and that and i actually bought one of the cards you know that's made by the uh my i think it's mahogany that's made by the um you know the black company and uh do it and then sometime when it comes to dad i know a couple of years i have actually written my own card for him and he seemed like he really uh enjoyed that and he he felt that a little more because i would really sit down and really think about them writing but yeah i did that <clears throat> you know it's really hard to um to shop for dad for any holiday birthdays father's day anything because he's very simple you know he's not a very um uh, person, he's not a person that 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 just you know always saying they need want this or, or get me this or get me that. When you ask him for a suggestion, he'd be like, I don't know, I don't need anything. You don't have to. Most of the time, he tells me, you don't have to get me anything. I'm I'm cool. I'm good. But of course, I want to. Um, <clears throat> you know, I always want to acknowledge. You know, not only Father's Day, I, I I let him know all the time how much I appreciate him, how much I'm so grateful to have him a bit to in my life and to be a part of my life and you know dad definitely uh he does a lot he spoils me rotten he he does a lot for me and um always has and i um you know i'd be wanting to really you know not only tell him all the time but you know sometimes just show him a little extra and do a little extra i tried to talk him into going and get a couple massage uh, cause you know we walk and everything, and lately his um his been his hips and stuff been bothering him. He didn't want to go. He was like, no, need no massage. <laughs> so I uh, did that. You know, got him cards. Uh, we ended up going out to um lunch, and we did an early lunch because we knew it was gonna get crowded that weekend. So we did an early lunch, got something to eat, and just chill and talk. I mean. Since dad been retired now, what, about nine months? Yeah, about eight, nine months, because it'd be a year, and it'd actually be a year in August. Um, we uh, we spent a lot of time together, a lot of time together. So I think sometimes I just be getting on his nerves. Because <laughs> you know, he has his own space, he has his office space, his little man den. And uh, I be on the, in the rest of the part of the house doing whatever, and sometimes I just get bored and go in there and mess with him and rub him on that old bald head, you know. And he just looking at me and he just he just shake his head. So um, you know, we just really been been enjoying that. So that's what um, you know, just doing that. So that's what we did for Father's Day. And like I said, I'll um, reach out to my son and and my son-in-law and um, you know, send them a nice text and stuff. So uh, Juneteenth, they had the Juneteenth um, event um, over the weekend. You know, I talked to y'all about it, um, I think last week or so, and, you know, telling you about the event coming up and everything. So that was very nice. At first, I thought it was going to get um, 
you know, rained out and stuff. So that was very nice. Uh, took the kids, my grandkids, and um, it was nice. It was very nice, and it was very hot out there, but it was it was very nice. It was I really enjoyed that. So I did that, and um, I think that was pretty much as far as the most uh, you know exciting stuff that was going on. Um, that was pretty much what I had going on. Didn't really do too much more. Um, what else did I do? That was it. I didn't do too much, you know. Just kind of chilled. And um, just, uh, like I said, I spent some time with the grandkids here. I'm getting ready to, um, in a few weeks, I'll be going to... Um, Atlanta to spend some time with my girls uh, over there and um, you know see what they got going on and how their summer is going. I talked to my youngest little grandbaby. Well, she's not the youngest. She's actually older than my granddaughter here, but her and I talk and FaceTime and laugh and you know, it's just so good. You know, like I said, technology is so great. It gives you that opportunity to sit in your home, states apart from each other, and, um, you know, see their faces <clears throat> and talk to them and just really, um, really just, you know, enjoy that time with them. And it's, it's just crazy. So um, get to do that. And I'm excited about going over there and spending time with them. And uh, yeah. I also got, uh, it seemed like this month for June, I just been busy. I, I just been doing stuff and on the go and, and like every weekend stuff has been coming up and been doing some stuff. But um, I got a wedding coming up uh, around the end of this month, end of June. We only got about two weeks, a week and a half left. So I got a wedding. I got to get myself ready for that. Trying to figure out what to wear. <clears throat> I used to like... um really like to dress up you know and get all cute and pretty but lately i'd be like oh lord because i would go in there and look in the closet even though i got two closets and uh full of clothes and i'm just looking like i ain't got nothing to wear nothing at all so i'll be trying to figure out i may change three or four times i might end up going to belts or something or dealers like trying to find something because everything that I got it don't fit right it don't look right in my opinion and I walk out and model it for dad and like how this look how they look and that's the wrong person for me to be getting an opinion for because everything I put on you're like oh they look good they look all right ain't nothing wrong with that what's wrong with that they look okay be like, Dad, no, it, it it doesn't fit right. It doesn't feel right. So, um, yeah, it's going to take me these next two weeks just to figure out what to wear to this wedding uh, and make sure, you know, that I feel comfortable in, you know, because I definitely gained a few pounds around the midsection, and that's my worst section, the midsection. I hate it, and I'm so, but I'm scared to go and uh, get some of that fat sucked out uh, I don't definitely don't want to do no overall uh, lipo. I mean, uh, you know, um, I guess where they cut you and take away skin and all that. I don't want to do that because I'm afraid of surgeries. And um, <clears throat> it's just so much that can go wrong with that. But I wouldn't mind if I, you know, if I can build up enough nerves to go and let them suck some of that fat up out of there. Maybe if they get, you know, about five or six um Pounds, and that sounds like a lot. That's probably too much. They can get a, you know, you know, a few ounces up out of that fat. I think that'll help my midsection a little bit. Um, you know, I don't know. I probably just live with this bo this body that I got because I'm I'm too nervous. I don't like any type of procedure where they might have to put me to sleep. So I probably won't end up doing that. I just keep buying me some Spanx and, and suck it all in and <laughs> put on these Spanx and try to suck it in and stuff. So 
that's what I'll be doing. I'll be trying to find something to wear to the uh, wedding. I'm going to a wedding for my um, one of my old bowling buddies is uh, getting married, and I bowl with him for years. And he's a good he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. I look at look at Cedric like a, a little brother because you know of course um, most of the people on our team was I think he was the youngest one on our team. So um, I'm excited for him. He's getting married, and um, I'm excited to go and celebrate that with him. So um, yeah, I think I think the whole bowling team is going to be there to celebrate with him. So that's going to be nice, a nice event to go to. So that's it. Just getting ready for the wedding. You know, coming out of uh, celebrating Father's Day and Juneteenth. Uh, right after the wedding, be getting ready to celebrate, you know, the 4th of July and from there uh, to Atlanta. <clears throat> mm, my throat. <clears throat> from there to Atlanta to spend uh, about a week or so with my with my girls. And uh, so it, it's, it don't seem like I be doing a lot, but once that time get there, it's a lot and I be tired. You know, it's like every time I go somewhere or do something, it's even, you know, a busy, busy weekend, it's like, oh, it's time. I need a vacay from just being busy this weekend. I need to sit back for a couple of the first couple of days and, and do nothing. I, you know, I, I try to stay active and keep myself going, but girl, I'd be so, oh, y'all, I'd be so tired after I have a busy weekend or anything that's going on. It take me a day or two just to recoup, just to, Whew, Lord, like I, I just need to recoup for a minute. <clears throat> so that's what I got going on. Um, not too much. Uh, I hope you guys are getting out and enjoying your summer. I think it's officially summer now. Or is it like official the 20 something of July? I don't know, but it's been a hot. It's been up in the like 90s. So it's, it's really nice. It's been really, you know, hot nice summer you get out enjoy yourself have a good time and you know and just make memories and it doesn't even have to be an expensive trip that you're going on you know you can do little things and find little things in the community that's going on that you can get out and enjoy and just um have fun that's what it's all about and i try to take advantage of any opportunity that jump out there um I try to jump on it. You know, my girlfriend is always sending me different stuff, you know, that may be going on in the area. I try to get out there and enjoy it. And anytime I can spend some time with my grand grandkids, I'm on it. I'm doing it, you know. But just trying to keep up with them sometime, I'd be wore out. I'd be like, y'all, grandma old. <laughs> grandma got too old. I have to take a break and stuff. So that's it. That's what I had going on. So I hope everybody had a great June uh, teen weekend. Actually, today is officially June teen day. It's um it was it was June the nineteenth, um, eighteen sixty five. So today is actually June teen day. So happy June teen day. I uh, hope all the fathers had a great Father's Day and, and got to spend time with their loved ones and all that. So, I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. Um, before I go, guys, go back, show Grandma some love, hit that subscribe button, uh, leave me a comment, give me some hearts. And guys, just be kind. Be kind to everybody you come in contact with. Stay positive, live your best life, and enjoy it. I'm going to check you guys out next time around.